Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com. We're here in Hot Springs, Arkansas at the 2011 America's Strongest Man. I'm here with the great Travis Ortmeier. Now, Travis, you're already qualified for World's Strongest Man. Is that correct? That's correct, yes. And um, what brings you here today, then? I just want to retain my title. I won here last year, and I want to take it back again this year. And that's pretty sound reasoning. I understand that. You look healthy. You look like you've put some weight on since I saw you at the Arnold. Yeah, I, uh, I had an illness that uh, finally shook earlier this year. I took about two and a half months off, and it actually kicked my butt. I got down to about 251 pounds, and, wow. and now I'm 295, so I'm 20 pounds heavier than I was competing last year. Good. So. Yeah, no, and it's, it's, it, it's a bit of an ego boost to have somebody else notice you that you've put some weight on as a guy in this field. So, Travis, you look terrific. I'm looking forward to tonight. Good luck to you, and uh, Thank you, thanks for your time. Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com. I'm here with the much esteemed Ryan Bracewell, the co-anchor of the RX Power Hour on RxMuscle.com. Ryan, uh, first, congratulations on your new addition to the family. Thank you. That's going to be my excuse when I get last. That's my excuse <laughs> why I'm doing bad. So just blame it all on the kid. And uh, keeping you awake, I assume. Yeah, not, it's not too bad. But, you know, we have nights where it's every three hours we're up. And even if I'm not feeding him, I get up, you know. And then we have nights where he'll sleep six hours. So it's it's a hit and miss. Kind so of. your wife's not too upset with you that, that you're sleeping through the night and she's not? No, no, I get up. I feed. Actually, I take the, the feeding at like 3 a.m. because she has to get up at 5 where I don't get up till eight so you know it's not too bad and I can fall right back to sleep so. so about today's competition this is your second show third, second one third Third, third, third pro show. Yes, yeah. But first time doing this show. No, no, this this show last year was my first show and did horrible. Uh, got a second to last in front of a guy who was injured, so it wasn't wasn't a very good showing. But then I kind of redeemed myself when we went to America's Strongest Man in Vegas against virtually the same competition. Got sixth place. So, so it was just it was just a bad showing. I'm hoping to improve that this year. Yeah, absolutely. That's understandable. But uh, and it's a it's a pretty interesting field this year too. Minus some big names that have already qualified for World's Strongest Man, who are going to be in Poland, Mike Jenkins, Brian Shaw, Jason Bergman, uh, Nick Best, Travis is here, of course. Um, so it's going to be a really great show. Good luck to you tonight, and uh, hopefully we're going to see you a few times for interviews after you have your event. Hopefully I do pretty good. Then you'll want to interview me because I did well and not just because I, you know, go with RX. Yeah, because we work together. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com. Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com, 2011 America's Strongest Man in Hot Springs, Arkansas. I'm here with the big Dave Oslin. Dave, um, I know you're just coming back. You had an injury. You've done a couple tune-up events. Is that correct? Yeah, I did um, just a local show in Rochester, Minnesota at the end of June, and then weekend after that drove up to Ontario, did another one. So this will be my first like big one back. Yeah. And kind of a test to see how you are physically... Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I've done a lot of this stuff in training, but training and competing are two different things. So, you know, I'll see how I hold up in this one and hopefully have a good result. Good. Now, when was your last appearance at World's Strongest Man? Um, I was there 2010 in South Africa. So you'll be able to, hopefully, you win this, you qualify for 2011 and uh, in North Carolina. Yeah, I'd like to go back to for 2011. Uh, I mean, the, the big picture, though, I really want to be in shape for next year is for the 2012s, although... Obviously, any time you can go there is a bonus, and so that's what I'm working for this year too. Yeah, and the exposure is terrific for not only for you as an athlete, but uh, within your community, I can imagine as well. Yeah, it's good. I mean, you, that's kind of the big one that everyone sees on TV. So, you know, people kind of know you because of it. Right. Right. Good. All right. Well, Dave, hopefully we'll see you in the winner's circle a few times for interviews later today and tomorrow. And uh, the, till then, this is Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com. Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, 2011 America's Strongest Man. I'm here with returning competitor Scott Weech. Scott, you didn't do this competition last year. Um, two years ago you were here. How'd you fare then? Uh, I did okay. I qualified for the Olympia that year. Um, did do as good as I want to. So this year I'm coming back a little bigger stage. We've got some really good competitors. Uh, hopefully fare a lot better this year. Good. Yeah, we were, had interviewed several of them today, and everybody, everybody looks terrific. Travis has put some weight on since the Arnold. He looks terrific. Dave looks enormous as usual and uh, I think it's going to be really good competition a lot of good athletes here this weekend uh, again considering we're missing people like Brian Shaw and Mike Jenkins and some of the guys have already qualified um, going into this what is your favorite event between the eight events that we're doing over the weekend what, what do you like to do uh, anything overhead I, I wish we could do eight pressing events but they just wouldn't have it so uh, I think the axe will be a really good event for me to start off with I gotta start really strong there place at least the top few. Mm -hmm. uh, the push-pull medley should be really good. Three pressing events there. 
uh, good with the stones, uh, but mainly the pressing events are, are going to be key for me to uh, do really good on to get the points in those events. Good. Nice. Um, well, we're looking forward to hopefully seeing the winner circle a few times and get some interviews. Uh, I, we saw you in Orlando at the Europa, and you did the, uh, the, the APF. Yeah, the APF. Yeah, the Raw APF, and uh, you had a terrific weekend then. So I uh, expect nothing less this weekend. So good luck to you, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next uh, next few hours in the winner circle. Hopefully. Cool. All Ryan right. Ryan Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, the 2011 America's Strongest Man. I'm here with the ASC's newest pro, Mike Burke. Mike, you took took third at the Arnold Amateurs last year, third, you took the first overall as an American, third overall out of 50 some odd competitors internationally. It was a huge showing for you, which qualified you to be an ASC pro and uh, qualified you to come compete here this weekend. Correct. Tell me uh, what, um, what, what specifically you're looking forward to event-wise here. Um, I don't know. I expect to do pretty good in the Hoosafelt and the kegs. Um, the axle, I've got a pretty, pretty, uh, a decent axle, so I'm hoping it gets me up there in the points, and then, uh, and then uh, just try and maintain in the other stuff. You know, not have a. I don't want to have a horrible showing my first showing out, though. So you know. Yeah. Well, this is this is a great show. Lots of great history with American strength athletes, with Poundstone and Ort Meyer and 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 Shaw and all the other guys that have come through here and done well and moved on to international competition. So I think this is a great platform for you. Good luck to you, and hopefully we're seeing the winner circle for a few more interviews later tonight and tomorrow. All right, thank you. All right, Mike. Thank you very much, Brian Hildebrand with RxMuscle.com.